my own mother was uh, affected by POCD and uh, she had a typical um, uh, history. Um, she had a fall, had a hip fracture and um, uh, had a delirium which she never really got out of and uh, eventually died some 30 days after her hip fracture. So that's a, um, a typical uh, situation occurring in my own family. Maybe the patient should be more informed because sometimes, as I told you, the, the relatives then come up and say, well, uh, if uh, nobody told us that this is possible, this is, this is scary. Here clearly with the POCD, we are looking at the condition that is under treated, under evaluated. And all the publications you look at uh, having evaluated after it happened, uh, insist that we should have a test before so we can avoid and prevent uh, patients from having a POCD. I guess it's a very underestimated problem and it's a very severe problem for the, those ones who are affected from it. And we know also from the literature that the part of these patients, they do not recover. I guess it's also an important instrument maybe to decide which patient might profit from neuro rehabilitation in the post-operative period, so after discharge from the hospital. I think if the patient is prepared, if the relatives are prepared, and also the anesthesia team is pre prepared, we, we usually we can manage the situation better. Well, um, this will be a, a huge advancement to what we're doing now. So if we get a, a score, any kind of, um, let's say, help which will distinguish between people at risk and people uh, not being at risk would be tremendously helpful.